And here you have boarded up a very old shepherd's cottage. I think they have another way of taking care of sheep nowadays, so the shepherds lost their uh, vocation. Lots of bird calls, lovely little brook down there as you see, and otherwise just animals, no people apart from me. Correction, this is not a shepherd's cottage, this is a boarded up railway cottage, a railway cottage. We're coming alongside a disused railway now. So, but regardless, it's a long time since that's been lived in. And I'm competing with the sheep for this track. And here's a bridge over the dismantled railway. see where the track used to be. Somebody walking along it. Now look at this idyllic river, isn't that lovely? Look at the, presumably that colour comes from the iron in the ground, or the peat, not sure. Beautiful isn't it? And the sun shining what a happy day. You might even think that spring or possibly summer's come. We're on the edge of farmland, lots of sheep. And on that side, further up, actually the other side, the wall really, um, more land. Dry stone wall, a speciality, I think in England, I don't think you get them abroad. Stones made without any mortar or anything to stick them together or keep them together. And that, in the distance, is Smardell Viaduct. Makes a pretty picture, doesn't it? With the brook underneath it. Uh, presumably you can walk over that viaduct because I saw two people walking along the disused railway line so they must have come that way and then it looks as if it goes into the hillside so presumably there's a tunnel there there's the railwoman's cottage boarded up next to it some sort of working either for stone to build the railway or to be transported by the railway not sure and it's still fairly fine. Going uphill, quite steep, and I'm sure there'll be a downhill soon. Good view from up here. It's raining over there on the horizon. As long as it stays over there, I'll be happy. Clouds, broken clouds, it makes quite a nice effect. And I'm now going down into this gully, and beyond that is the road leading into, first of all there's a farm, then a road leading into um, Kirby Stephen, destination for today. These sort of houses are fairly typical of prosperous places that are oriented towards tourists. A lot of these uh, in the summer provide uh, bed and breakfast accommodation, generously proportioned, 
handsome, well maintained, generally speaking. And Kirby St. Stephen, of course, uh, gets a lot of people in high summer because it's next to the Dales. Well, I've just walked off one, haven't I? And um, ah, I hope it's going to be an interesting place. This is uh, the most important historical building in um, in uh, Kirby, uh, Kirby Stephen. This is the uh, church dating back almost a thousand years. Doesn't look it, does it? Let's go inside and see what it's like. And the approach is through a sort of, um, well, cloisters it's called. I wouldn't have called it cloisters, but uh, that's in the description. This is the Locky Stone. The only example in Great Britain and one of two in Europe. Beautiful pulpit, beautiful, lovely stone. Coast to coast. And we are here. Toby Stephen. 1223 John Ferentine. 1292 Thomas de Capella. 1304 Thomas de Leicester. 1318 Henry de Rillington. And the French names die out towards the end of the 1300s. After 1386, there isn't any French name anymore. 1620, the Commonwealth. When uh, King Charles I was executed and uh, Oliver Cromwell took over. And going through 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, and currently the vicar is Carol Marsden. So this is Frank's Bridge. This is the second most important uh, historical uh, construction in um, in Kirby Stephen. Frank's Bridge. Frank is supposed to have been a uh, brewery owner in the 1700s, but of course it's all here, so nobody really knows. But it's a very pleasant bridge, and it's a very pleasant river. And apparently it's got a lot of uh, interesting wildlife. Um, a reasonable evening. It's spotting slightly with rain. There are dark clouds. There are also... Uh, there's also blue sky. So we should be grateful. Plenty of flowers. Love it. And we're now going into the town centre. 